Hey guys, it's Ministry of Lego WLEV3 here, and welcome back to Today Teach. Today I'm going to talk about a thing that you might not overuse, advanced block, and a useful tool, my blocks. Let's start with file access. In the block's top right corner, there's a blank which stands for the data's name. The default name is ABC and you can change it if you want. In the right mode, you can write things into your data, like this. I set a new data called mystery, and I will write 1, 2, 3 in it. If you write over two times, the data looks like this. Every time you write things in it, it will add a space and an enter in the data. So the next time you write things in it, it will write in a new line. In the read mode, you can read things in the data. It have read text and read numeric. You can choose what to read. If you had execute write for over two times, then you have to execute read for over two times. For example, I have write five things, and I want to read things in the third line. Then I will have to execute read for three times, so I can get the thing I want. If the thing in the line you read is text, and you execute read numeric, you will get zero. In contrast, if you have numeric in the line, and you execute read text, you will get the same result of reading numeric. Because in the EV3 program, logic can turn into numeric and text. There's a thing that you guys should notice. If you haven't write things in the data, then you execute read. You will hear this horrible sound. Yeah, unless you enjoy this sound and an error message on your EV3. Remember to write things in the data before you execute read. Then it delete. It deletes the data and everything in it. Clear mode can help you to read the line you want. Like the example I just showed you. I had execute read for three times. But after that, I want to read the second line. Then I can execute clear to make my line to the first line. So I can execute read for two times to get the things in the second line. If you don't execute clear and keep executing read, it will keep going to the fourth and the fifth line. It won't go back to the first line. There's a thing that you guys will notice. File access block will directly change the data in the brick. The data won't be deleted by turning off the brick. Last, if you want this data, you can select tools and choose memory browser. Then choose the file you want and press download. Data logging is a block that can help you to collect data of your sensors and models. I will introduce the interface of it. On the top left corner, there's a blank for this data's name. The default name is my data. On the right of the block is the sensor or model you want to collect the data. The number blank on it is the part of the sensor or the motor. The plus on the top right corner can let you to add sensor or motor. Data logging has four modes. On, on for time, single measurement, and stop. On will collect the data without stopping until the program ends, or let's stop at the back of the program. On for time can let you decide how long you want to collect the data. You can also choose on for seconds or minutes. In on and on for time, you will see that there's two blanks. The right one has two more to choose, samples per second and seconds between samples. Different from other modes, Single measurement only records a data, so if you want a single data of your motor or sensor, you can use it. Stop can help you to start the data logging for on and on for time. There are ways that we make it every three to data log by itself, but there's still the other way to data log. We can also data log by connecting the AV3 to the computer to see the data immediately. To data log by this way, you have to add an experiment first. Then you will see this on your computer. This button is the start and the end button. You can start or end the data block by pressing it. And the left part of the experiment will show what sensors and motors are connecting to a brick now. The settings are down below the data logging graph. You can set the port of the sensors and motors, or how the data log does. Samples per second, or seconds between samples. Now I'm going to tell you guys how to get the RDS file of your data log. You have to go to the tools in the menu part, then click memory browser, then choose the file you want and press download, then you will get the data log file. You can also manage the files in data log file manager. Messaging is a block that you can send message from your AV3 to the other AV3. And message has three more, send, receive, and compare. I will introduce this interface first. The blank on the top right corner here is your title for the message. For send, 
There are two blocks for you. One is the brick that you want to send message to. You will key the brick's name here. The other blank is what you want to send. And the output of the receive mode is things you receive from other EV3 brick. With compare mode, you can compare message you receive from the other EV3 brick with the thing you want to compare. If they are the same, the logic output will go to true. If not, it will be false. For Bluetooth connection, you can control the EV3 brick's Bluetooth with it. There's a thing that you might need to know. An EV3 brick can connect to 7 bricks at most, and it works like this. A major EV3 brick can connect to 7 vice EV3 bricks. The major EV3 can send message to every vice EV3, but the vice EV3 only can send message back to the major EV3. It can send message to other vice EV3. For initiate, you can add Bluetooth connection to other devices. And the devices here means that all kind of Bluetooth devices that support EV3, like phones and computers. Opposite to the initiate, clear is to disconnect the Bluetooth connection. The keep awake block can you make your EV3 don't turn off during the program. Of course, you can go to the brick setting and make it never turn off automatically, so it won't bother you. And keep awake works like this. If your EV3 will turn off after 10 minutes, then you will have to write keep awake block for every 10 minutes. So the EV3 can keep awake, because when you execute this block, it reset the countdown for turning off the brick. Raw sensor value is for sensors that don't have their blocks in mainstream program. You can enter the port of the sensor, then it will tell you the value of the sensor. But there's one thing that you should know. The raw sensor value only accepts the value between 0 to 1023. Unregulated motor is a block that you can use for both big motor and small motor. The difference between the unregulated motor and the action motor block is that the action motor block will adjust the motor's power to make up the resistance that motors meet or a low battery situation. Invert motor is a block that can make your motor after a block or turn in an opposite way. And you can see that there is a true and false blank for you to choose. This true and false blank works like this. If you choose true like this, the motor A after this block will all turn the other way. But if you choose false, the motor won't change its way. Finally at the end of the video, there's one thing I highly recommend you guys to use in the Mindstorm program, my block. It can make your program more neat or make you a program with more function. So let's see how it works. First, mark up the program you want to include it in your block. You can edit it after you create the block, so don't worry about that. After you mark up the program, go to the menu bar up there. Click my block builder in tools. Then you will see this. Here's your block's name and description of it. Of course you can choose an icon for it. And the most important part is here. The plus here is for you to create an input or output for your block. Of course you can call it parameter too. And there's a limit for parameter. You can add 10 parameter at most. With parameter, you can choose text, numeric, logic. After adding a parameter, you can set up the parameter's name, parameter type, data type, default value, and parameter style. You can also choose an icon for your parameter. And after all the setup, click finish, and there's your customized block. That's all about the advanced block and my blocks. Don't forget to subscribe us to get more video about Lego. There's a Chinese version at the right of the video. If you have any question, welcome to leave a comment below or go to our Facebook to message us. If you haven't watched our data operation video, I will put it at the left.